scale. All right, in my poster scale, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start with some simple type or text. And it's best to do something that's kind of large, especially so you wanna input something of your own image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of work this one as a sample. If you haven't worked with a type often, it's not difficult. Uh, you type your word in, then use control T. Control T will give you your wonderful text box, and then I simply stretch and move to just about any way I want to. So that's my shortcut. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a second image. And on, oh, I must radicize my work. So a lot of times to radicize, I just click somewhere else and it kind of works for me. And, or I do control D done, and that will radicize my layer. And then I should be able to open something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and I'm gonna open, let's just say my own artwork. And this is what I'm gonna put in for my texture and my type. I like to go to my windows and arrange, and I give myself two windows. At this point, I can kind of move this. Now let's move these things out of the way. Um, the nice thing about Photoshop is it lets you kind of play with stuff. Now I might not have wanted to lose that layer. I might have to pull that up again. All I'm gonna do is click here. I'm gonna cut what I want in my artwork. And I'm simply going to move it with my move, move tool over to my other palette. I want to make it bigger than my text. So I'm going to stretch. And this stretching part it looks like I'm going to have to be way big to kind of catch that. And it doesn't worry. I'm not going to worry too much if it's off the page because it's going to give me some freedom later. Okay, again, just uh, a lot of things I can do. Control D done. Make sure I'm in here. Should be done. All right. It doesn't want me to get it there. I'm going to let that out. All right, let's stretch again. I have a little trouble interfacing on my Microsoft Surface every once in a while. And we're gonna be Control B done, that should be done. All right, let's right size that layer. All right, now I want my layers back. Let me click on my layers. At this time, all you have to do is hold the Alt key, pinch between the layers, hold the Alt key until you get this little white box. When you get the white box, click and your artwork will fill your type. Now from here, this is edible type. Doesn't mean you can eat it, it just means you can change it if you want to. So I can change my name, it'll still type in there. I can put any text I want in there. Another thing I can do on this layer is I can go to my blending options. And I really do like a drop shadow. And a lot of times that'll give me a little bit refinement. And sometimes on something like this, when I have a pattern, I really do like a stroke but I want to make sure it's a tiny stroke. And this stroke is a blue, which really kind of fits with what I'm doing. I'm going to click OK. And there you have it. Let me go into my view. And we're just going to zoom in a little bit. Oops, a little too much. But you get the idea. Come on, zoom back out. And we're going to zoom out again. And there are shortcuts on my keyboard for me, this, but this is kind of fun to do it this way. All right. I wasn't really going to teach you shortcuts, but I will show you how you can get a pretty good, neat little imagery with your type so that you can put your own artwork or your own texture into your type. It's a way to add your paintings in there. So I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm hoping that's a very quick tutorial that you can share with your friends. Uh, Photoshop Scott.